something we did a little different. This car belongs to Ken Ross. Uh, we used a stock gas tank because he had a very good gas tank and he wanted to paint it and have a stock look. And so we just sent the top tank to Rock Valley and uh, they put the pump right in the tank. So we still had the advantage of the in-tank pump. Uh, the stainless exhaust, we did that here in our header shop. Uh, we can get underneath it here and you can see the fuel filter kit. We mounted it up underneath uh, right above the rear end. Remember we talked about with the LS2s and L 7s because the fuel rails we can't do the dual. So the big line is the inlet on the fuel and the small 5 16 lines of return but with these compression fittings we get back and use A and 6 hose on both. Then it goes into our quick disconnect and then Tube Tech did our fuel line come up and bend it. See how nice it follows the body. Here James can really bend that tube and this is something trick we did. We might start offering it for like the six speed. This is a tailpipe hanger that we made. This is the new cross member we offer. We offer these cross members for 4L60s and the six speeds. But this is a two piece bracket. The bottom half bolts up and sandwiches around the pipe. Notice that we used uh, the clamps on all the exhaust or the band clamps. So it really makes a clean setup. And we've got the exhaust. You don't want to do all welded exhaust because when you go over speed bumps, everything's got to give a little bit. So with the band clamps, you get a little bit of free movement. Uh, this has got a steroids rack and pinion on it. Uh, notice we did the coated headers up here, uh, the street performance headers. Then we did a stainless collector, which we offer. Then we coated this inside. And even though the car has been run, you can see it's discolored just a little bit, but that's all of the discolor with a thermal coating inside. So it really makes a clean setup on it. Um, Larry, why don't you lay her down and let's see it under the hood. What do you lack under the hood? Okay, let's get her down. Uh, here looking at the Camaro with the LS2 in it of Ken's now. Notice we used our six cylinder slave cylinder bracket here where it bolts up when you run your dual master cylinder. Here's where we mounted the fluid where it'd be handy to check and see for the clutch. Notice our fuel line this is one of our rear exit fuel line kits that goes over to the pasture side and ties in. There's also your vacuum port on the back here for the power brakes and there's another little one if you need it for your air conditioning ducts or anything. Here's another vacuum port you can pull off if you need. Notice where we did the little steam line bypass here. Uh, and then in the radiator we got a Griffin radiator that's got the temperature probe we put down in the bottom of the radiator here. See here in this way we control the fans. We mounted it back in the inner panel here and we've made actually some panels that go in here and hide this. And then we got our Griffin radiator and of course we did a matching overflow tank on the passenger side and this is our steam line here that we come off the overflow and went into the bottom of the steam line. We put an aluminum condenser. We mounted the dryer up here on the passenger side front notice that and what we did with all the AC hoses we actually uh, taped them off and chromed the crimps after we crimped it um, and notice here the inner panel remember now we're running the LS2's with a 2005 computer so we made it that computer down inside here and they're real small the LS7 used two plugs and the GTO's and the 2005 uh, LS2's run uh, the small three prong plug computer one of the things you're going to see, I was reading the other day, where GM has put, uh, made 150,000 LS2s in 05. They're putting them in the new Trailblazers option, of course, the GTOs and the Corvettes. And so there ought to be a lot of motors out there in the next few years. Notice this is our coolant temp sensor adapter we make. It's a 12 millimeter to go in the passenger side rear of the head, then let you adapt the original. And this is a half inch pipe temperature sensor in it. And we have a new one this week that for your earlier LS1s uh, that will screw in and replace the old oil filter or oil pressure sending unit in the back of the motor. And that's a 16 millimeter and we're going to make it in an eighth and a quarter and three eighths and a half inch too. Uh, Larry, why don't you take that other cover on there so we can see what it looks like basically finished up. We've got to do a little more detailing and hiding of the wires. And then... Uh, Jason, maybe why don't you go around? Let's hear this thing start here as soon as Larry gets the cover on it. I'll just hold this cover till we get some bolts in it here.
These covers snap on. We are doing the smooth top covers, but Ken wanted the factory look covers because we painted the intake the color of the car. Then we did the covers in the black, and uh, we also uh, come back and painted in the letters the color of the car, so this is really going to turn out to be a pretty car when it gets done. There's some pins right underneath the here on each side. They're kind of got a little ball like on, and the two lines snap, and then they two deals snap. Let's see if it'll start up, Jason. There, you can hear the fuel pump come on. Good. That's going to sound good, huh? That's one thing when you do the six speeds, you want to put, uh, like we did, a neutral safety switch uh, behind the clutch. So you got to have the clutch in for starting it with six speeds. It's a good safety precaution, and you can wire that right in through the ignition. And then uh, if you come around to the inside here, you can see where this is all driver wire. Of course, where the first is always doing the driver wire, we put a vintage air in it for Ken. And uh, it's got a drive-by-wire gas pedal, and it just, the harness will go and plug right into the pedal. So it really makes a clean setup. Um, don't like much, and Ken's about to come get the car and finish it up.